This is red spud. This is goldie spud. They have decided that they would like to have a family. Notice Goldie's stethoscope. The letter S, not a good choice for representing alleles because a capital and lowercase look the same. Because doctors use a stethoscope, use the letter D. Capital letter D and lowercase d look distinguished enough that it will be easy to tell the difference. Having a stethoscope is going to be a dominant trait. Because of that, Goldie has two choices. She could have two dominant alleles, or she could have one dominant with one recessive allele. Notice that red does not have a stethoscope. That means he has to have two recessive alleles, or both lowercase d's. For this example, let's assume that Goldie has two dominant alleles. When we look at the trait for having a stethoscope or not having a stethoscope, that means we need to take the alleles from each of the parents, two recessive alleles from red, two dominant alleles from Goldie, and we need to create a Punnett square to find our results. Here's what my Punnett square should look like to begin with. What does this resulting Punnett square tell you about this particular offspring for Goldie and Red? That's right, this offspring must have a stethoscope. Now we'll inherit a hat from one of our parents. Their offspring is going to need some eyes. Whose nose should we get? Hmm. So many other phenotypes. What will we get next? This is just one unique offspring that these two parents could have produced. What if I had used the mom's shoes instead of dad's black ones? What if I had used the mom's green hat instead of dad's red hat? 